The Democratic leadership in the House of Representatives is playing games again. They just passed a so-called reform of the electronic surveillance laws. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi held it as a great bipartisan compromise. Actually, what they've done is given George Bush a giant get-out-of-jail-free card. Well, Congress has done it to us again. The House of Representatives has just passed a massive so-called reform of the electronic surveillance laws, the laws that the Bush administration has been violating for at least half a decade. First of all, this legislation supposedly has a compromise on the administration's demand for immunity for the telecommunications companies that acted along with the administration in its illegal spying. But it's no compromise at all. It's guaranteed to let the telecommunications companies off the hook. Here's how. When the lawsuits go to court for review, the legislation says that any telecommunications company that has a letter from the attorney general or an intelligence agency saying that their actions were on behalf of American security, then the lawsuit has to be thrown out. Congress knows that all communications companies have already gotten these get out of jail free cards. It guarantees that the lawsuits have to be thrown out. It's written into the legislation that way. The important thing about this is not only to hold the telecommunications companies accountable, but this lets President Bush off the hook. These lawsuits could have revealed the depth and methods of his illegal spying. So they've handed Bush a giant get out of jail free card as well by granting immunity to the telecommunications companies. They gave Bush everything he wanted. That's not compromise. As if giving the telecommunications companies immunity from the lawsuits wasn't bad enough, Congress actually expanded the administration's powers of electronic surveillance. Now, virtually any communication coming into or going out of the United States is fair game and nobody will ever know who's being spied on. That's because the new legislation says courts have to review the new surveillance, but they don't get to know who's being spied on. That's right. All they do is review the procedures. The procedures are sworn to by the attorney general. He can tell the courts they are legal or will be legal soon, and that's all the courts get to review. Congress has just trashed the Fourth Amendment. You might as well snip it out of the Bill of Rights. It doesn't exist anymore. Even if under these restrictive laws, the court somehow finds that the spying is illegal, the administration can continue the spying until the appeals have been heard. That can take months. And even then, if the court still rules that the spying was illegal, the administration gets to keep all the information and use it that they've illegally gathered. That's no protection at all. It's another get out of jail free card for this administration. Congress hasn't compromised with the White House. They've compromised our Constitution. Congress didn't have to do this. In playing their political games, they made the determination that if they didn't pass it, they'd be seen as soft on terrorism. Well, that's not the case. They could have passed the laws that have been on the books for 30 years, or they could have extended the current emergency legislation. They did not have to give in to Bush. They're just playing political games with an eye on the election. To add insult to injury, Congress passed another great compromise by giving George Bush another $162 billion to fight his war in Iraq. This is the Congress that was elected in 2006 with a promise to end the war. They keep compromising away our tax dollars. They keep compromising away the lives of our young people. What a Congress. What a Congress. They followed all this up with a fundraising email to people around the country on Friday evening. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee wants us to donate so that they can have a strong Democratic majority in the next Congress. I don't know about a strong Democratic majority. I'd be happy to have a majority with a spine. Congress, you've let the American people down, you've failed to support the Constitution, and you've broken your promises. 
All I can say to you is go to jail, go directly to jail, do not pass go, do not collect $200. I'm Paul George, here to tell you Orwell was an optimist, and he wasn't just playing around.